Test one, test one, testing, testing. I've got to really not move too much while I talk because I have a really squeaky chair. Hey guys, today I have with me the Asus ProArt PA279CV 4K monitor. Now it is quite a mouthful, so hopefully I said that correctly, but it's also actually quite the monitor. So I'm gonna be chatting today about this monitor and some of the specs it has, but also just more generally about monitors and how getting a good one can be really beneficial to your photography and videography. So let's get started. So when I initially took it out of the box, what did I notice about this monitor? Well, firstly, it's 27 inches. It's massive and it feels massive to use. And that alone has been really nice. I don't know what size monitors you guys were using, but like previously, uh, because I sort of knew I was gonna be doing this, uh, I actually been using this kind of like really small, quite cheap monitor, it's about 70 pound monitor. Um, and the difference, obviously it is going to be a huge difference because that one isn't the best monitor, but the difference between going from this quite small one to that 27 inch was huge. The amount of detail I could see, ignoring resolution, ignoring color, just literally due to the size of the monitor was huge. So yeah, I have to say, if you have the space on your desk for it, I'd really recommend getting a large monitor. I really, really love that I have one now and it's been super useful to me. In addition to the fact that the monitor is 27 inch, it also is 4K, which, you know, the difference between a 4K and 1080p monitor is huge. Like, obviously, I don't know how you guys do it, but I pretty much try to shoot as much of my video content in 4K as possible, but then I've obviously been processing it on a 1080p monitor, which is, it's kind of a weird thing to do if you think about it, because what I've now noticed is now when I've gone back and watched some of these videos that I've made before, I'm noticing little things in them that I hadn't seen before, perhaps some color banding, perhaps some noise in certain parts of the image, basically little imperfections in the image, which I didn't notice before, purely because my monitor wasn't good enough. Now, this is actually really cool for a number of reasons. Obviously, I can go and look at those imperfections, I know that they're there now and I can fix them, but also it means that I can do that before I would then go send a video to a client because the worst thing that could happen is I go, you know, edit my video on a 1080p monitor, there are some imperfections, I don't spot them, I can't see them. I then send my video to the client and they watch it on a nice big sweet 4K monitor and then all of a sudden they're gonna come back to me and say, hey George, there's a few problems with this video. And that's just a situation that I don't want to be in, and that's a situation that this monitor can help me avoid. It's kind of weird, but going back and watching my old videos now, it's kind of like watching them through a different lens. Before, I watched them through a standard lens, and now my lens has gone and it's had a clean, and it's a little bit more vivid, and it just, in general, is showing me more detail. And now I'm going back and watching my videos. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting how different the experience is and how many little things I've been noticing. This Asus ProArt also covers 100% of the RGB and the Rec. 709 color space. Now, that is so useful for me as a color grader or anybody else that does color grading or edits photos or pretty much any color work whatsoever. It is so useful. Once again, I've gone back and watched my old videos and it's like they've got a completely different grade when I watch it on this monitor. Again, I can see more imperfections, but also I can see that the colors do look like realer or truer, if that makes sense. I know it's hard to quantify, but they really do look different. And yet again, that's really transformed my color grading. It gives me a lot of confidence when I grade now because I know that my monitor is perfectly calibrated, the colors are perfect, and it's showing me every single color that it could possibly be showing me. Therefore, I know with confidence, okay, if I grade to this monitor, if somebody goes and watches my video on a really nice screen, this is exactly what it's going to look like. Again, this is actually really useful for client work because you can let your client know, hey, by the way, I'm gonna be grading this, I'm gonna be processing all of the colors on a monitor that has a 100% color space, which means that then when I deliver you your project, you can know that the colors are like uh, true, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to quantify, but like the colors are exactly what they're supposed to be on that video. Again, it could be really useful if your clients are a little bit funny about grades, or if you just wanna reassure them that you are using the best equipment you can possibly can to deliver them their videos. 
The monitor is flicker free and anti-reflective as you would probably be aware of right now if it wasn't uh, because there's a few different lights in here and I can't imagine there's any reflection going off the screen and there's also going to be no flickering too which is really really nice. In terms of ports this has got a HDMI port, it's got a display port input and a display port output. That display port output can also be used for daisy chaining if anybody wants to be doing any daisy chaining on this monitor. It also has a USB-C port which is quite a cool one because you can actually use it to deliver up to 65 watts of power. So if you need to charge anything or run anything it's actually really cool that you can do that through this monitor and it's certainly a feature I didn't expect it to have. It also has an Asus Quick Fit Virtual Scale Mode, which I know is a lot of words but sounds really weird. But just to explain what it is, it's basically uh, you can get up some stuff on the monitor which show you various things such as how big an A4 bit of paper is. So say if you're doing a little bit of printing, you're printing something and you want to see exactly how it's going to look in terms of size for the A4. It's quite cool that you can just line that up with the monitor and see how that is. Uh, it also has like a rule of thirds grids and some rulers and stuff like that. So yeah, just if you want to just check anything for any reason, obviously this screen is made for creatives. And I can imagine any designers or anybody that's doing any design work would find that extremely useful. You can swivel, tilt and rotate the screen in a huge variety of ways which is always nice because I'm sure there's people that might want to get multiple of these monitors and perhaps actually put one portrait because you can do that or just you know it's so customizable however tall you are however you want to sit however you want the monitor to be placed it will be able to do that for you. Probably one of my favorite features about this monitor is the blue light filter that is built in. There's five different settings of blue light filter, the fifth one being like crazy strong. And it's so useful. I spend a lot of my hours at a computer editing and perhaps even in my free time playing games and stuff. Basically just looking at screens, probably way more than I actually should be, but I imagine there's probably a few other people that are watching this video that that might fit into. And yeah, having a blue light filter that's built in is awesome. Like it's so nice. It really does make a massive difference on the eyes. Like when I turn my blue light filter onto max on my Asus, if I then go and look at my other screen, it's like, it's really bright and really harsh. And there is actually a really noticeable difference. So yeah, anybody who wants to keep their eyes healthy, this monitor's a good one. The only thing I'd say is uh, don't freak out when you look at all your work and it looks horrible because you've forgotten to turn your blue light filter off because that has happened to me a few times already. In terms of audio, there is an aux port on the monitor, which is really nice if it's just more convenient or for whatever reason you wanna plug your headphones straight into the monitor. And it also has a speaker. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, the speaker is terrible. It's a terrible speaker, but it's a speaker on a monitor. It would be wrong if it was anything but terrible. But what's more important is that it has one because if you ever need it for any reason, it is there. And again, that could be useful. You know, if I use um, external speakers here, but if my external speakers broke, then having that speaker on the monitor, you know, while I'm getting them fixed or getting a new one or whatever, it would be really, really useful to me. Now, I think that's pretty much all the specs that I want to go through in this video with you guys. There's just sort of the more general reaction which I want to talk about, which is just, it is insane how much this has changed my workflow. It's way more than I would have probably given it credit for before. Like, I obviously know that monitors are super useful and having a really, really good color one is amazing. But have, after having it seen it firsthand and upgrade from what is admittedly a horrible, terrible monitor, to this it has just been unbelievable and it's helped me out so much and it really makes me think that going forwards i'm going to be having better looking videos i'm going to be having you know i can be more confident in my color grading and stuff like that so yeah it's made a huge difference for me going back to what i was talking about earlier about the lens sort of looking through the lenses ideas um this picture here my screensaver i took about three years ago it's been my screensaver pretty much ever since uh, so you can imagine I've looked at this photo a lot of times and the day I got the monitor, the photo looked different. It looked very different. There were little bits, little things that I noticed which I'd never seen before. Little like maybe hints of blue coming in in spaces where I didn't think there was any blue and just stuff like that. So yeah, that's, you know, that's the thing for me. That's what's so exciting is I can now feel really confident when I go and deliver my projects and deliver my grades that 
people are going to be seeing what I'm going to be seeing, especially if they have good monitors. If they have bad monitors, then I've always got this little bad boy to check my grade on and make sure that it doesn't look too bad on a terrible monitor too. Because you have to always remember that while it is amazing that I have this Asus Pro Art, a lot of people that are gonna be watching this video I'm going to be watching them on Asus Pro Arts. So it's always nice to check that it doesn't look totally awful on a totally awful monitor. But that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit different. We don't usually do much stuff about monitors. But if you do want us to sort of do any videos on other things, uh, things that perhaps we don't cover so much like monitors, then please pop a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you because it's always interesting to have some feedback from you guys. But apart from that, I just want to say thanks for watching.